Picture this, a room full of intelligent, creative Asian American women making art. This is awesome! While this may not be the norm in America circa today, a thousand years ago in Japan, this was kind of a thing. Ladies in waiting were hired to think and write and create, and some of those works still exist. Specifically, the writings of Murasaki Shikibu, author of The Tale of Genji, and Sei Shonagan, author of The Pillow Book. Playwright Rosie Narasaki says there must have been other women writing over the past few millennia, but so few names remain. It's like Sappho, and then these two. And I'm sure there's others, but it's, it's, it's quite rare. Although historically, it's likely the two never met, in her play Unrivaled, Rosie imagines them working for the same empress, played by the effervescent Cindy Nguyen. She and Katie Katani, who plays Murasaki, love the idea of this arts-based culture. This was a time in history where money was not the prime currency. Literally, the most powerful thing you could have was to be a good poet, a good writer, a good musician. It may be said a thousand years ago, but the language Rosie uses is youthful and modern. This is the 31-year-old's first full-length play to be produced. Director Margaret Starbuck read it in 2020 when Rosie submitted it to Boston Court's LA Playwrights open submission window. And it was like, love it first read. Because I remember reading it and thinking, oh, this is a play about me and my friends. Friends who in this case are more like frenemies. Margaret can't help think, she says, of how often throughout history, and especially in the arts, women are pitted against each other rather than allowed to raise each other up. Why? Like, why does that have to be? Why can't we be this, like, a community of women, like, in solidarity with each other? And I think that really applies with women artists. As for Rosie, this moment seems to be written in the stars. Her parents are both in theater. Her dad was in a play at Boston Court in 2004. I think I came out to see it three times because I really loved it. She'd seen her parents struggle to find work when work for Asian American actors was scarce. These days, she's pleased with the progress AAPI artists are making and while she knows there's still work to be done, I don't want to feel like, oh, everything's fixed now. <laughs> she's thrilled to have contributed her voice to what they all hope will be an ever-growing chorus. There's lots of things that I get like in my head about that I'm insecure about, but I'm like, at least I created a play with three Asian American women in it. That's a win. I got that as a play. Win. That is good. <laughs> Clearly, there's no rivalry in this room, just a mutual appreciation society that the rest of society could maybe take a page from.